This is Twit. Mark is on the line from Woodland Hills, California, our next caller. Hello, Mark. Uh, hi there. You're the bomb diggity, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Well, thank you. Whatever that means, I'm glad. <laughs> um, I I have some uh, just tons of organized files and folders, but I know I have a lot of redundancies, and I was wondering if you could recommend a file management system of some sort, you know, with uh, research material and photos that I have. It's just oh, what an interesting idea. So instead of using, so uh, that's one of the facilities any operating system offers you is this kind of way to organize what's on your hard drive with folders and file names and all of that stuff. But it's not the best. I mean, it's not the end all be all, but it's a start. You want to go a step further. You kind of now at this point need a document database in effect. Essentially, yeah. I have yeah. so many uh, hard, external hard drives and the like, and uh, it, I know there's a lot of redundancy. Yeah. People who do research, novelists, anybody who's yes. kind of like downloading articles and wants to collate them and then integrate them. So there are a couple of questions. Windows or Mac? Uh, it's Windows. Windows. Uh, yeah. And do you ever want to use your mobile device or have access to that data on your mobile device? No, I have too much proprietary research material. And ah. I'm a policy analyst, so I, so it I, needs to I have be, and personal stuff as well. It needs to be secure. Yes, sir. So there's a lot of choices on the Mac uh, for stuff like this. Uh, a lot of novelists no. use a program called Scrivener. Never. And never? Never. I'm not joining the cult. Sorry. No, <laughs> no really, brother. <laughs> Okay, it is available for Windows. Uh, I see it. Uh, so you, 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 by cult, you mean Apple, not Scrivener, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So I t that's the first thing I'd take a look at. It's at literatureandlatte.com. There's a free trial. And it has, uh, this is one very popular style where you have, uh, you can put notes in, uh, they can look like, index cards a lot of you know in the old days that's how you do it right you use index cards and clippings in a notebook this is trying to kind of duplicate that and then it also uses multi-windowed layout and columns so that you can have for instance in the middle of the thing you're working on a list of clippings on the left other files on the right so it has it's 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 so you can structure it and uh, a lot i know a lot of novelists and people love scrivener so that's the first thing I, I would look for. I think this will fit your... I also have quite a bit of personal stuff. Travel. I've been to <clears throat> quite a few foreign, na uh, foreign nations. and. Uh... Yeah. So that's one thing. Now, I use for this, and Micah, you use this too. I don't know if you still like it. Something called Notion, which is now the only drawback is the, the, the data is not stored locally. It's stored on their server. It's notion.so. But it is uh, one of a large and growing category of apps that are designed to kind of be the next generation of note-taking. And I think Notion is a really interesting thing. It may not suit your needs, Mark, because it sounds like for security reasons you don't want to store this in the cloud. Oh, no, no. Okay. I'm willing to have it physically. Yeah, you prefer that. So Scrivener is local. Uh, of course, you're going to want a good backup because you're now storing a lot of important stuff in there. So, uh, you know, make sure you have a good backup, an encrypted backup, something like our sponsor iDrive, so that you don't have to think about, uh, you know, what happens if I lose that hard drive. And my my mobile phone never has any financials on it. Yeah. I'm pretty safe. With yeah, you're a secure that. guy. I get it. Yeah. I used to love the Yoda 3, and I wish they hadn't gone under. I know. I know. I was disappointed as well. Love so the dual screen. Okay. So uh, the the final thing I would mention, and I've been using this. It's probably not for you. It's a note taking app called Obsidian at Obsidian.md. The reason I like Obsidian, it can be local. It does allow you to also store it on something like Dropbox or a, or OneDrive or something like that. Um, but it is very text-based, and it sounds like you might have articles scanned in, things like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Scrivener would probably be the right choice for you. Oh, splendid. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. there's... Advice as always. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're very welcome, Mark. Yeah, this, this is actually a... Uh, first of all, I've mentioned this before. Don't get me started. Because, <laughs> right, you know this, you Micah. Love I love note-taking apps. And, yeah. You know, note-taking and uh, And I think that this is... I'm not alone in this. This has become a very hot topic because of something called Zettelkasten. 
This this was a uh, hundred years ago. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, a guy uh, came up with a. It's a German word that means note box. He came up with a uh, paper based note taking method called Zettelkasten. Now this guy was prolific. Uh, he he was able to write so many books, and he always credited it to his card index system. Um, and and so there is a there is a methodology around all this. And there's in fact now this you'll see there's tons of writers, people talking about this. Uh, probably the the best known guy on this is Tiago Forte um, at Forte F O R T E Labs dot co. He's a productivity guy, but he focuses on note taking. And the theory is, if you had a good note taking system. Something like Zettelkasten, which I think is over elaborate, but if you had a second brain in effect on paper or on computer these days, you would be able to draw inferences, think more orderly. It's for writers a way of taking a lot of disparate information, linking it, and then making new ideas out of it. And so that's the thesis behind Zettelkasten. And Tiago is one of the kind of the proponents of this second brained thing and so there's a big second brain movement i don't know maybe 10 years ago you might remember there was a big uh getting things done movement right right yes. a to-do list movement and what i found with that is people are more interested in setting up the system than actually doing it right i was one of those people yeah i don't have to do anything <laughs> if i just have a great system right right and so you spend days weeks months building a system i think there's a little bit of that in this whole Zettelkasten uh movement uh sometimes um on reddit they call it a uh, PK, I think it's a PKKS. It's a personal note-taking system. And there is actually a very good subreddit uh, where people talk about the various ways of taking notes and so forth. But uh, I think uh, I, I'm a big fan of Obsidian because it's on all my devices. It syncs, but it's very textual. You can put images in it, but it's not about images. Notion is very much about graphical interface and it looks good, but you don't... And this is a pro and a con the stuff doesn't live on your computer it lives in the cloud which is good you don't have to worry about ever losing it but it's bad if if you're worried about security they do have a way of encrypting uh, notes and so forth but i think it's really it's more uh, public than perhaps some people would like and then there are lots of local things like scrivener i think scrivener has lots of testimonials from academics people and love, lawyers yeah people and not love just scrivener. Uh, journalists yeah. and writers so yeah i think that's the so i've boiled too. down what would really i could go on for hours about the pros and cons of all these different ways of doing it and of course just like getting things done i've got the system set up <laughs> never use it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never use obsidian is the one i end up uh, uh, sticking with i think it's probably for me the best solution and i know uh, a lot of writers who prefer scrivener this is uh national november novel writing month NaNoWriMo, and uh a lot of people i know who write novels use tools like scrivener to get their notes together, to get their plots together, to organize all that, and then start writing. And what you want is something where you can start writing, and it's going to be uh, at your fingertips, all that research and work you've done. And I think Scrivener is very good for that. There's other ones like Ulysses and so forth, but Scrivener's cross-platform, which is a, a big advantage.